Today, we'll talk about which are the five best picks, how to choose the correct product, and what you should look at before buying. We've ranked these products based on their price, quality, durability, performance, and more. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. Let's get started. Next up, we have the highest end model that you can get your hands on. It costs more than the rest, but it does do its job extremely well. Number five, Apple iPad Pro. The iPad Pro wants to be more than a quasi-computer. Up until now, the iPad Pro has been more like a tablet and steroids, beating a lot of laptops on speed and battery life, but certainly not on computing comfort. The new iPad Pro is a lot more evolved, iPad OS now fully supports cursor input and there's a new pricey magic keyboard with a trackpad and satisfying scissor switches. The iPad Pro also ups the ante in the performance department with a new A12Z Bionic chip with an 8-core graphics engine, a new dual camera system that includes an ultra-wide lens and a LiDAR scanner that offers a much more responsive augmented reality experience. The iPad Pro 2020 is practically identical to its predecessor, and that's not a bad thing. This 12.9-inch slab is almost all screen, with narrow bezels on all four sides, rounded corners, and an ultra-slim profile. When viewed from the front in landscape mode, there's still a magnetic strip on the top edge for attaching the Apple Pencil. The only port is on the right, a USB-C port for charging and plugging in accessories. Like the 2018 model, the iPad Pro houses a true-depth camera up front, which enables Face ID for quickly unlocking the device. The liquid retina display on the iPad Pro 2020 is among the best screens on any mobile device. It's bright, colorful, and leverages ProMotion technology for automatically adjusting the refresh rate up to 120 Hz. A long overdue feature for the iPad is finally here with iPad OS 13.4, and that's trackpad support. No longer relegated to being an accessibility feature, iPad OS now has a redesigned cursor that appears as a circle on the screen, and this circle morphs into different shapes depending on what you're doing. The iPad Pro 2020 includes a new A12Z Bionic processor that offers an 8-core CPU and a new 8-core GPU that's designed to provide a big boost in graphics performance. You should expect fast, real-world performance as well. The iPad Pro is rated for 10 hours of wireless web surfing. The iPad Pro 2020 represents an important milestone for the iPad. By offering a real keyboard with touchpad, it's a much closer competitor now than ever before with a Surface Pro 7 and Surface Pro X. If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Number 4. Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 the Galaxy Tab S3 may not be Samsung's newest Android tablet, but for buyers on a budget, it offers a lot of value with its crisp, high-resolution screen, outstanding audio, and all-day battery life. The slate comes with a high-resolution 9.7-inch screen, an all-day battery, and an S Pen stylus that makes digitally writing on the display simple and fun. Although it might not be as powerful as the new iPad Pro or the Galaxy Tab S4, for many users who want a reliable multimedia experience and don't necessarily need all the bells and whistles, the Tab S3 gets the job done. The black version has a sleek look, but the back is glossy, so you'll find yourself wiping off fingerprints often unless you use a case. Fortunately, the back is flat, so it won't go sliding off your desk despite the slick finish. On the front, Samsung has the same black glossy finish with a Samsung logo at the top. There are also two capacitive buttons on both sides of the home button, and while we found the home button to be reliable and well-built, the capacitive buttons can be a little less responsive. The Galaxy Tab S3 has a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor and 4GB of RAM. This was strong hardware when the tablet released last year, but it's on the older side now. That said, the Tab S3 still did a solid job of handling most tasks. When we're flipping around to different apps and surfing the web, the tablet did a great job of handling multitasking without any sign of slowdown or poor performance. If you plan to use the Slate for a lot of graphics-intensive apps, like 3D drawing programs and games when you might notice some stutters, the average user planning to watch some videos and do some browsing shouldn't have any difficulty. The Galaxy Tab S3's display is 9.7 inches and uses Super AMOLED technology. It has a quad HD resolution of 2048 by 1536, all of that translates to the Galaxy Tab S3's display being downright impressive, with a resolution matching or surpassing other high-end tablets. The Galaxy Tab S3 may be old, but it has an outstanding design and compelling list of features for the price. 
Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. Number three, Galaxy Tab A. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A is a real alternative to an iPad with a sharp and colorful screen and a design that looks brilliant. All in all, it's the best budget Android tablet around if you don't like the restrictive approach of the Amazon Fire HD 10. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A is the most important tablet Samsung has released in ages for deal hunting buyers. It's far cheaper than the cheapest iPad, unlike the great Galaxy Tab S5 e but it still has a sharp screen. Power is the only major problem here. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A's graphic chipset is fairly weak. As is so often the case, big gaming fans should consider an iPad instead. But at this price, it only grazes this bargain tablet's appeal. However, we are talking about note-taking tablets, so in that case, the Galaxy Tab A wins. The Galaxy Tab A is the best-looking tablet you'll find at the price from two of the big names in tech. There are two versions, an 8-incher and this 10.1-inch version. It has a mostly aluminium back for a feel not too dissimilar to an iPad. There's an inch-deep strip of plastic at the top that cheapens the design a little, but at this price, I just don't care. Given the basic core specs, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A has surprisingly solid cameras for a cheap tablet. There's a flash-free 8-megapixel camera on the back and a 5-megapixel one up front. It has an Exynos 7904 CPU with a Mali G71 MP2 GPU and 2GB of RAM. This team just scrapes by in every respect. There's the occasional bit of system lag, apps take a little while to load, and you can clearly see the limit of the graphics power when you play some higher-end games. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A has a 6250 mAh battery and uses a USB-C connector to charge. Samsung says the battery will last up to 13 hours, and that claim is fairly close to my experience. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. Remarkable Remarkable tablet is great to let you focus. There are no tons of applications, no notifications, no ads. There are no things that are constantly requesting your attention and taking your work in memory. There's no possibility to even get the current time, and I absolutely love it. That's precisely the form to make you free and to free up your imagination. Have you tried sensory deprivation? When you're lying in a big tube with warm salted water and floating, no sound, no touch, no visual contact, nothing, just silence on all metering channels of your body? After some time, your brain starts to gush with new ideas and thoughts. The same happens when you have Remarkable in your hands. It's a piece of paper, pen and time. Ideas just find a way out from your subconscious and you have to be fast enough to write everything down. You become more connected with what you do right now on the device. If you're learning or writing, you can easily add marks, dive into examples, solve problems right there. There are no moving in the mouse, no opening or creating documents, deciding where to store, how to name tons of notifications around, etc. All that stuff which you do in your computer to facilitate your learning time, all of that just gone. There is only you and the material which you're working on. Did I mention that Remarkable has great page templates, lines, grids, dotted, calendar and a lot more? But it would be nice if you'd be able to upload your own templates easily. You can organise your documents and notebooks into folders and subfolders, but filters work globally only, so you can't filter out only notebooks in the current folder. I do recommend to find a friend who already owns this tablet and just try to write on it. It's really hard to explain, but that's the exact moment when you understand that this product is just for you. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. And number one, Microsoft Surface Pro X. While we applaud the Surface Pro X for its slick and refined thin and light design and comfy typing experience, the Surface Pro X is difficult to recommend for most people. It ends up being an ideal device for a very small group of users, thanks to the lack of a headphone jack and no support for a variety of apps. The Microsoft Surface Pro X is undoubtedly stellar looking and feeling, and Microsoft's newest attempt at an ARM-based Surface Pro device could have been impressive as well. It even boasts Microsoft's first ever original processor, the SQ1, which is co-developed with Qualcomm. At first glance, the Surface Pro X's price tag might seem rather appealing, especially next to some of its rivals. However, in reality, it's simply too pricey for the level of performance you're getting. All told, we find the Surface Pro X hard to recommend for most people. All Surface Pro X models include Microsoft's Qualcomm Snapdragon-based 3.0 GHz SQ1 system on a chip SoC processor, as well as the 13-inch 2880x1920 pixel or 267 pixel per inch PixelSense touch display in the signature 3 to 2 aspect ratio. 
The Surface Pro X simply trims and rounds out the classic yet dated Surface Pro design, bringing down its thinness and weight even further. Specifically, the Pro X measures 11.3 by 8.2 by 0.28 inches or 287 by 208 by 7.3 millimeters, and it weighs 1.7 pounds or 774 grams. The tablet feels impressively light and it slips easily into almost any bag even with the type cover attached. Microsoft has also eliminated the hard angles of the classic Surface Pro design, giving the Pro X a much more rounded and modern look and feel that's closer to that of a smartphone. So, how does Qualcomm 7 nanometer SoC compare against the Apple A12X Bionic? Well, it gets trounced, to be frank. Microsoft promises up to 13 hours of mixed usage time for the Surface Pro X, touted as one of the tablet's most appealing features due to its new ARM-based silicon. Overall, it really is one of the best note-taking tablets in 2020. Buying Guide Firstly, resolution. One of the most important features of a tablet is the resolution. Resolution refers to the number of dots or pixels on the entire screen. You'll see greater detail on a high-resolution screen, which is important when viewing HD movies and playing graphic-intensive games. Secondly, storage. Most tablets provide a decent amount of internal memory or storage to house the OS, apps, photos, videos, games, books, and music. If you plan to store a lot of movies and music on your tablet, you'll want one with more internal memory. Another option is to store your media files on the cloud. A cloud is a location where you safely store your files other than your hard drive and access them anytime via a Wi-Fi or cellular connection. Thirdly, apps. Another important difference between tablets and regular computers is that most tablets use a mobile operating system like iOS or Android. This means tablets can't run desktop software you might already own for a Windows PC or Mac computer. However, if you already have a smartphone that uses Android or iOS, you might want to consider purchasing a tablet that runs the same operating system. This way, you'll already be familiar with the way your tablet works. And lastly, size. Smaller 7-inch or 8-inch tablets are great for the commute on the bus or airplane. Just a bit larger than the average smartphone, these compact tablets are small enough to fit in most pockets. Larger screens, 10 inches plus, offer great views and better resolution for watching movies and videos, viewing web pages, playing games, and provide plenty of screen space for typing documents. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.